Hey, welcome. You found the Eclectic Storm Studios, and this is another edition of the Words on Words 60 Second Spotlight, the most dangerous book review on the internet. My name is D. This is Loki, and today I'm going to tell you about a book I've just read. I'm going to give it one to five stars, and uh, when I do that, I'm going to do it in 60 seconds, and when I do that, I'm going to get fireworks. No, nah, he's really not. Yeah, and he's hoping I don't do that, because then he gets to unleash the bombs and blows me up. This is true. So, are you ready, D? I am ready. That was a nice little blurb of... Yeah. Oh God, I already have a timer going on. <laughs> You're bad. That was a nice little blurb on uh, words on words there, D. Thank you. Good job. Thanks. I'm glad you're perfecting. I am perfecting. I'm hoping did I did you uh, perfect this review. I hope I did. <laughs> All right. It well, feels so good. We are in the control room. So are you ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. This week's Words Word 60 Second Spotlight is With All Due Respect by Nikki Haley. Now, Nikki is not her real name. Um, that's uh, In Punjab, that means little one, and that name kind of carried through. Uh, she was born of immigrant family, uh, born in Bamberg, South Carolina, became the governor of that state later on. And in 2017, she was a... Uh, 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 but the Trump administration made her the U.S. ambassador to the U.N. Now, she's had some uh, uh, courageous things she's done in her life. Uh, when she, uh, A lot of things when she was the governor. Uh, one of the things, she removed the Confederate flag from the state house. Although she balanced that out, she let uh, citizens choose whether they wanted to uh, continue to raise the flag their own, in their own yards. Now, in the United Nations, she had to face down characters from countries like Russia, China, uh, North Korea, Syria, Iran, and uh, the like. And now, what I really liked about the book is there's no name calling, there's no mud dragging people through much like you see in other political books she believes everybody should be treated with civility and respect but she also believes she should go up to people and tell them to their face if you've got uh, different opinions so i was really happy with that so what i'm going to say with nikki haley's with all due respect i'm going to give it five stars and this has been a words of word spotlight where we preview a book for you and we do it in 60 seconds or less thought i might have made it was i like, this is a lot slower than others. I should have put my, um, I just didn't do it. Oh, oh. It's all fun and games until you get the bombs <laughs> dropped on you. It is. It is. Um, show this. So the picture. There it is. Nikki Haley, with all due respect, um, I was really happy. I've read a, the last few months. I don't know why I keep gravitating toward political books, but I keep reading them. And I'm so used to them just slamming other people. I mean, if you're Democrat, you're slamming Republicans. Republicans, not so much, but still have their, their thing slamming Democrat. She was not like that at all. It was all civility, respect, if she didn't agree with somebody. And most of the people that she talked about not agreeing with were her in her own party. So... You know, I have to hey. commend that. <laughs> yeah. You know, we need more civility and respect in American politics. And gosh darn it, they need to go get some work done. All right. Well, hit that subscribe button if you like the review and share it with your friends and family. As another words on words, we will be back next week. When for I won't one. blow up. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, we'll see. Because you haven't been uh, that smooth. Well, you got lately. one in a row, fella. So All right. Enjoy guys, it. Come back next week. We'll have another book for you. If you want to read the book that is in this video, Go down to the link in the description. We will have it down there for you. And D, anything else? Nope. See you next week.